let the adventure begin. There are fall colors, there's bear food. Oh, the fall. Morning, everyone. We are just outside of Oliver, British Columbia, BC's wine capital. And today, we've got an exciting little treat. We're gonna be doing a little wine tour on our bikes. We're gonna be riding to a variety of different wineries in the area and sampling some of their beautiful wines. So, come along for the ride. I just uh, was looking into the bushes on the side because I heard some knuckling. And what did you think it was? Maybe a bear? Oh, yes! Here, stop! Yes! Stop, stop! Yeah, yeah! So we are looking at all of the salmon in this river and they're obviously heading up to their spawning grounds. So it is October the 10th and we are out in short sleeves uh, in the Okanagan. This is unheard of. The weather at this time of year should be significantly cooler. But I guess we're not complaining. It's uh, a beautiful day to go riding. So this is actually part of the KVR, the Kettle Valley Railway. We've obviously spent a lot of time riding on the Kettle Valley. It's just so beautiful. We're going to try and visit some wineries today. And uh, we just have to decide which wineries we want to choose. We have been to the French door before and we really enjoyed it. Would everyone be up for a little visit to French door? Absolutely. Two thumbs up, Jer. <laughs> Ready to rock and roll. They have no beer. No, that's totally fine. It's nice temperature. It's not too hot. Wine will, wine will be good today. Change the subject. <laughs> Okay, so we are pulling into the town of Oliver, BC, and we're going to be heading up to the bench area where all of the wineries are located. Amazing day today! And this is the bench area just in front of us where all the wineries are located. The pavement has ended, and now we're riding as gravel bikes should always be ridden on gravel. We've just realized that, of course, we're going to have to, at some point, um, climb up onto that bench. Because as Kiki points out, none of these wineries are down by the river. So we're not sure where we are going to find an access road to get to these wineries. But I'm sure we'll find one somewhere. And now the climb begins. vineyard and my joke of the day was I was last but not least LYS one of my favorite wines they make here thank you We 
how's that ride been so far? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's it's the most beautiful scenery, and I actually think fall is the perfect time to come. It's not too hot. The leaves are changing, and it's just you can enjoy the spectacular scenery. It's Start with the mouth back here, and I think you'll uh, um, come to appreciate the sort of slightly softer yeah. on our white side. Uh, 21 is just that kind of summer lower yield. What was so we're at the French door winery, but unfortunately, they're all out of whites because they're that good. So we've decided though, we're going to do a tasting of reds. Cut right now. Hubert is trying to figure out our next winery. There are so many to choose from. We just don't know where to go. Berries and cherries. That's for Karen. Okay, so we are leaving. French door, beautiful wines, and then I'm not sure where we're going next. We'll just see. Where are we going next, Ubi? Oh, we're gonna go back down to the river and we're gonna travel along the gravel road there, trail, and uh, check out another winery. Oh, Kismet. Kismet. Kismet, yeah. All right, the let's go. The world is our wine vat. The world is our wine vat, instead of oyster. So, are we uh, feeling a little unsteady on our bikes now? <laughs> okay. Do you wish you could go swimming, Kirsten? Well, in the summer, there's all these little rope swings, and people really do swim in there a lot. But no, right at this moment, I'm good. Yeah. So we're heading down to a Soyuz now. Not sure how far the path actually extends, but I guess we'll find out. So we are heading back towards Oliver. Not sure whether we'll start, stop in at another winery. We've got to get home to make sure the Thanksgiving turkey is in good shape. It's just unbelievable that we're out here at Thanksgiving uh, riding in this kind of weather. And here we are back in 
Oliver. A longer ride than I had anticipated. I'm gonna have done about 40 kilometers by the time we get back to the car. You know what, with the fall colors, this has just been absolutely amazing. And the, just the fruit is just so scenic. Glad we came this way. Don't forget about the wine. Forget about the wine. It was only red wine anyway. So we've seen a lot of bear scat on the ride today. And of course, the pears are probably coming down in the evening to feed on all the salmon that are swimming up to their spawning grounds. So we're done our ride. Beautiful little gravel adventure with a nice little winery thrown in. Hope you enjoyed the ride. Until we see you again, take care. Your socks too. Today was pink sock day. Shout out to Jiro. So we've uh, finished the ride and we are in Jackson Triggs to get uh, a little tasting and buy a little bit of wine. Shoo, 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 Jeremy. Go away. Well, there's something called nostalgia. <laughs>